today we are at the Dolphin Research Center in Marathon, Florida. Kids are super excited to see some dolphins. I'm super excited to see some dolphins. Let's go check this place out. I see a dolphin right there. Feel free to wave back. <laughs> There's Santini. Uh, so Santini wants to wave again. <laughs> That's an awesome question. So there's a lot and I don't know the exact number because they keep changing the number. <laughs> so What do you think about this place? I love it. It's the best place ever. This is a definite recommended place for you to go. Okay, definite recommended place. You heard it from the source. Definite recommended place. Would you recommend this place? The Dolphin Research Center was definitely a success. It was a big hit with the kids and the adults. Seeing dolphins is always fun. We didn't do any of the special paid things like swim with the dolphins, pet the dolphins, or anything like that, but it's probably worth it if uh, it's something you want to do. We, uh, we just didn't do it this time around, but who knows if we ever come back, we likely will. So I'll put a link in the description below for this place and check it out if you're in this area. We made it to Bahia Honda State Park. We weren't sure if we were gonna get in because we got a late start to the day. They do limit the amount of people that are here, but we uh, we don't really snorkel. We don't uh, we don't do any of that stuff. So it's super windy. It's like 20, 25 mile per hour winds today. So I think a lot of people decided not to come here today uh, because it's not crowded at all. Probably because the water is very choppy. You can't really snorkel. You can't see anything. So we're here and we will enjoy it because there's not as many people here. So we are excited to be here. When we knew we were coming to the Keys, this was our number one thing on our to-do list. So we're here. So let's go enjoy it and check it out.
to the water of the Hia Honda, no matter how windy it is. We're out here. down a ton. It ended up being a beautiful day here and now it's packed. Now I know why you have to get the girl. It is. So I was digging so much I jumped straight down to the water. I saw mud at first and then I was like I'm really close to the water. Then I We were about to walk over the old, I guess, overseas highway. The original Key West uh, bridge it was destroyed in the hurricane in the 30s. And now you can walk on it. do while I'm here in the Keys every night is just go for a little walk. It's a lot easier to get your exercise when you're out of the Keys. So I go for a walk every night, head down to the pier, check out the fish, see if anybody's catching any fish, any, any good action going on. So it's usually something worth doing. It gives you a reason to get a little bit of exercise in and get some beautiful views while you're at it. Today we are at Sombrero Beach in Marathon, another windy, windy day. The ocean is rough. Don't know how much swimming we're actually going to get accomplished today. seven-mile bridge if you're brave enough to walk several miles across it. Full day here in the Keys. It's Friday. We leave tomorrow on Saturday. It's super windy again today. Uh, it's been raining all morning. It's not raining now. I think it's supposed to rain again a little bit later today, which which stinks on your last day in the Keys. That uh, Keys depression is really starting to set in, set in for sure. Uh, so we don't even know what we're gonna do today. We're going to just. Take a walk around the campground maybe, check out, uh, just look at the water, see the beautiful views that the Keys have to offer. Maybe just take a drive. I'm gonna do some travel day prep, so have to, uh, have to go get gas, fill up, uh, fill up the beast here. But I don't know what we're gonna do today, but we've definitely had a lot of fun while, while we were here. I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the footage and seeing some of the things that we did do together as a family here in the Keys. 
there's a ton of stuff to do and you just never have enough time to do it especially when you can only get in here for you know a week at a time so After just pulling off into the Winn-Dixie parking lot and seeing a bunch of key deer, we're now right across the street kind of at the Florida Keys National Wildlife Refuge Center. So it's just a nature center. We're gonna go inside and check it out. So apparently at this campground, if you pick up trash and you take a picture of your empty bag and then the bag that's filled with the trash, the front office will give you a free ice cream. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Clean up the keys. Picking up litter. And I got a reward too. Chocolate covered key lime pie on a stick. Final night in the Keys and we finally got a sunset. Beautiful sunset. We were able to see the final sunset in the Keys as our time here is coming to an end. This is the, uh, the crappy part. <clears throat> no pun intended as I'm going over to the stinky slinkies, but it's time to start breaking everything down, getting ready for travel day tomorrow. It's a long travel day. Well, long to us like four hours four and a half hours that's very long for us so i'm tired it's been a fun week it's been a great week we love the keys I definitely plan on coming back here for sure i think next time we might try fiesta key nothing wrong with sunshine key we absolutely love it so that's going to do it for this video so if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Towards the end of the video, you'll see it pop up also. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if you've ever uh, RV'd in the Keys, and if so, which one of the campgrounds have you gone to? Uh, which one is your favorite? Go follow us on Instagram, at Type1Detour. We'll see you on the next one. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes